Welcome back design students. In this video we're going to finish up our apple by adding textures. Now on the assignment for the apple you have been given a folder with a bunch of different textures in it for different kinds of fruit and the label for your wine bottle uh, in the still life image and uh, some bark textures for the stem. So you should download and unzip this file and then you should install these and then you should install these textures in the scene assets images folder of your still life project and this can be done simply by highlighting them all opening up the scene assets images folder in another window and dragging them in there all right let's create a material for our apple let's go to the material editor move over to get blank space get a physical material base color map bitmap and I've got two apple textures in here let's try this one I haven't used this one yet and let's drag the output node and drop it on the apple see what that looks like now it doesn't look like much because as you know we need a UVW map so select the apple make sure you're at the top level and scroll down in your modifier list and find UVW map and it's going to probably have to be spherical although that doesn't look very good I think we need to project it differently I'm going to open this modifier up and grab the gizmo and scale it out so I can see how it's oriented and you can see that remember that little mark I told you that's the top so I'm going to have to grab the gizmo turn on angle snaps and rotate it so that it's facing up and now I can exit that. I'm going to turn off the edged faces here and see if I see a seam or something. Nope, that looks pretty good. The apple texture doesn't quite end up where it needs to in relation to the stem. Maybe the stem's in the wrong place. So I'm going to take the stem and move it a little bit so it's right there. No, it's the texture. So that means I have to open up the gizmo here and turn off angle snaps and get the rotate tool and rotate it until it ends up exactly where the stem is. And there you go. So I'm going to uh, add an edit poly to the top of the stack. And that is that apple texture. But let's go ahead and texture the stem. So to do that, we need another material. Open up your material editor, move over to a blank space. Let's use a physical material. Drag off the base color map node, general bitmap, and you can select any one of these bark textures. I'm going to try this one. And then apply that to the stem. And let's zoom in and see what that looks like. I think that looks okay. Let's see if we can add a UVW map to it and, and improve its look. That's certainly not the one we want. Let's try cylindrical. That doesn't look very good. Let's try a box. That looks okay. But to tell you the truth, I think I liked it better. And it was just like that. And let's see if we can do something to the bitmap itself to improve the look. Now we can uh, click these little uh, angle nodes here to rotate it. So we can do that. I don't know that that improves the look. Right click to zero it back out. That looks pretty good. So let's look rotate around there and see what that looks like okay that looks pretty nice one of the things we probably need to do is fix this top here so to do that we're going to add an edit poly to the top of the stack so that we can access these polygons here that are facing this direction so I'm going to turn on edge faces so I can see them a little better and I'm going to click I'm going to uh, switch to the just the select tool 
and I'm going to click one of these and then hold down control and double click on the one next to it so that I can select that whole ring. I'm going to come over here to the command panel and hit grow and that's going to uh, grow that selection. So I get the ones that are just flat and then I'm going to click I'm going to hold down control and click this one and then double click on the one next to it. Now these I can give a different UVW map. I'm going to hit F2 on my keyboard though first so I can see so that the polygon shading goes away and I can see the texture below it. So now I'm going to add my UVW map and it is planar. Let's get the right angle. That looks good. I need to adjust the size of it. You can see that it's not square. Sorry, the length and the width of it. And that looks a lot better. Let's see if I can do something with the tiling. And then I'm going to adjust the gizmo position and see if I can get a better part of it. So I think that looks pretty good. Alright, so the next thing we need to do is make this texture not quite so shiny. So let's put a edit poly at the top of the stack here. And you can see that it's very shiny. So let's open up the material editor, select the material and access its settings. What we need to work on is the reflections and the roughness. Uh, this is a stem so it is probably not reflective at all and 100% rough. The apple now should be a little shiny. You can see the highlight on it but it shouldn't be that shiny. So I think what we need to do here is just increase the roughness. Maybe dial down the reflection just a little bit. I'm going to turn, on, turn off edged faces. You can see that's just about the right amount of shininess. So now we've created our very nice apple. And this apple is now ready for import into our still life scene. I'm going to go ahead and rename this apple though. And I'll rename this stem. And I'm going to rename my materials apple and stem. That way when we merge them we won't have any confusion. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.